Hello, I'm Claudia K, and welcome back to my channel. Today is the fourth haul from the Lincoln Highway Byway sales that my nieces and I went to um, last week, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Today is the jewelry portion, and I am wearing these gorgeous clip-on Kramer earrings. And then I have no idea what that means. I don't know anything about jewelry, but that's what it says on the back of them. And they're just, they're just stunning. I just love them. So all of the earrings that I got are clips. So I'm going to go through them quickly. I paid, my goal when I started out, if you haven't seen any of my other videos, was to pay a um, dollar or less for any one item that I bought. And I... Um, did that with the jewelry because I bought most of it in lots, except for um, a set that I paid $3 for, and then some brooches. I paid 15 for five brooches, but everything else was a dollar or less. And a lot of it, 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 was, um, it was in baggies. Some of it, I didn't even know what I was getting. Went to one garage sale where a um, gentleman was selling anything that his new girlfriend didn't like. <laughs> she moved in and so, and he was my age. And so he, I got all of his uh, mother's jewelry that his new girlfriend didn't want in one lot for $5. It was a lot, like there were at least three watches in there and I don't wear watches, but a, a lot of stuff in there, so. That was a really good deal. So I, we got great deals on everything, but earrings are all clip earrings. And so here, first pair, just little black ones. And they say Hong Kong on the back. These, they say star on the back. And they're gray. Those are super pretty. And I like the ones that have the little rubber bit there so they don't pinch your ears as much throughout the day. These I've already worn because they're just pretty. These are West Germany. So pretty. These I've already worn a couple of times because I just love those. And these say Tara, Tara, Lucite with the gold. I've also already worn these a couple of times. These are Monet and I remember my grandmother having these in the 80s in um, round. I'm pretty sure they were round not oval. And she wore them with a red sweater that had black on it that actually I think my daughter has now because they came back into style 20 years later. These don't have a marking on them. These I love. There's no marking on these, but isn't that fantastic? The little shell shape with the pearl in it. Ugh, can't wait to wear those. I'm excited about those. These don't have a marking either, but they've got the kind of clip like that instead of the bigger clip. No marking on these, but these are the kind that run up the ear when you, I like that. Those are gonna be really pretty. Little pearl drop earrings. These have a lot of little beads, so I'm hoping 
but none of those break because those beads will go flying everywhere. Those are also marked Hong Kong on the back. I've got two different pairs of little gold tone hoops. Little pair of silver with the screw back. I don't like to wear those. They, I, they are always uncomfortable on my earlobes. These don't say anything on the back either. Little silver. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My sister says I always forget to say that in my videos, and I do. <laughs> These are Monet, so that can help date those. I worked at Kaufman's in the early 90s, and we sold a lot of Monet. These say on the back, patent pending, and that one's missing a rhinestone. Oh, kitty sighting. These don't say anything either, but I adore those. I can't wait to wear those. And they're fancy, but wear the fancy. Life's too short to not wear the fancy earrings. These are also the screw back. The screw back ones will probably go into a lot for future sales because or get passed along, but I don't think anybody in my family wears the clip on earrings anymore. Like I do. I do not. Those are a little enameled ones. I don't see any marking on those either. These are pretty. I can't wait to wear these. And they say something on the back, but I absolutely cannot read that. Or maybe, is that? Oh, Sarah Cove. Now I've watched a couple of jewelry sales where people said Sarah Coventry and Sarah Cove were different, where it's the Sarah at a COV. But then I watched another, um, I watched the, oh, the Sunday, was it Sunday night? No, Monday night show with uh, Cults of Vintage where he had two people on talking about jewelry and they made it sound like they were the same thing. So if you know if Sarah Cove and Sarah Coventry are the same thing, drop it in the comments. And maybe Sarah Cove was made later, but the same brand, I don't know. I don't know anything about jewelry. I don't know anything about a lot of stuff. I just enjoy it. These remind me of earrings my grandmother had. Oh, they say Japan on the back of them, so that would date them to that time period. The pearls, definitely going to wear those. Those are so pretty. And then these, my last pair, are made in Austria. Ah, look how beautiful they are. Oh, so pretty. I don't know what I'm going to wear with those with, but I am definitely wearing those. And then I got cufflinks that were just two pairs of these were thrown into two lots of other things. And then the third set I bought, well, no, those aren't cufflinks. That's a tie pin, but I bought because it was still in its original case, but these, and then these. They have a little tiny leaf in them. I don't know if you can see that. And then the tie pin. Look at that. With the little snap case. I used to get into my mom's jewelry box when I was little and just open and shut the cases. It's very satisfying. Got some bracelets. These two match um, some necklaces I got. They were all in a lot together. And then some bangles. I can't wear them, my hands are too big. I used to wear them all the time, but hands are too big now. This one was also in a 
just a bag. I got a whole bag of random jewelry for 50 cents. Just a whole bag. These two were in a bag together. I bought it for this one. Oh, I love that. Roses are my favorite. This one fits me. This one will get passed along. Then there was a random ring that I believe has an H. It's a man's ring, but I think it has an H etched into it. And then I don't know what this is because it has nothing on the back, but look at the roses on it. So I don't know if it was a earring and the back broke off, but I'm going to figure out. So I have a whole uh, pile of broken jewelry. Then there were some random pendants in a bag of jewelry I got. So I got those. Obviously modern, but then this one looks vintage. And at first I thought it was a brooch, but it's not. The, the top has got the, oh, you can't see because of my big fingers, but see it's got the, so not a brooch, but looks vintage to me. Oh, there's another bracelet. This one had a matching necklace too. It was in with the red and white one. This little one has um, stones on it because I recognize the amethyst right there. This pendant, I have a cross collection hanging on my wall of everything from tiny necklaces to um, rather large pieces. So that one will go on a chain and will get hung on the wall with the rest of my cross collection. That It's just really pretty. I don't know if you can see the detail in that. And that was just in a, a random bag of jewelry I bought. And then here are the watches. Oh, there were four. Here are the watches. I am not, I am not a watch person. So, oh, I can't get that one flipped around. But this was where he was just getting rid of his mom's jewelry. So I had to pay a lot of money for that. And then there was just a random watch band in there. And then the necklaces. This is so much fun. I got this one on Thursday. And then on Friday, I found this one. The totally different garage sale. This one I've already worn. I love that mint green. I love it. So I've got this one. And then some red. I love the style where you've got the, the smaller beads and then it goes to the bigger beads at the bottom. So I've got a yellow one where smaller beads, bigger beads. This one with the gold. And then another red with the smaller, but it's, those two would look really good worn together. They're different tops, so they didn't come together, but they came from the same person. I do remember that. Another yellow with gold. We've got blue with little gold spacer beads. Strand of your fake pearls. These are really pretty though. I remember back in, um, the late 80s, I wore these pretty much every day to school. I had different lengths of them. And I was a weirdo in high school. I kind of did my own thing and I didn't care what was stylish. White beads. Well, maybe they're pearlescent. I think the pearlescence has worn off the top part, but it's still there at the bottom.
got this one. I remember my grandmother or my mom having a necklace like this in 70s. And I got, oh, this one was in a bag of stuff, little praying child necklace. I picked this one up for my daughter, little owl, but I already wore it once. <laughs> Then I've got brooches, and boy, do I have brooches. So, Christmas tree brooch, got that for a quarter. I don't remember the prices on most of these. I do remember that this one had um, come in that bag that I got for 50 cents, and I'm pretty sure that all of the paint on it was an at-home job after they bought it which is disappointing. Here's the back of that one. I love the flower ones. Flower ones are my favorite. Little Santa. The flower ones are my favorite, but I do really like the leaf ones too. Most of these do not say anything on the back, or if they do, it is too small for me to see. Look at this one, isn't that pretty? Yeah, I got a lot of leaf ones. I think I'm in a fall mood. I went and got a pumpkin spice iced coffee from Dunkin' Donuts this morning, because Starbucks does not have pumpkin spice yet. And my dad actually treated me he wouldn't let me pay that. The coloring on that is so pretty. This one is huge. But I think I'm gonna wear it on a button-up shirt, a button-up collared shirt. I think that would look really pretty. <laughs> oh, how great is that little saxophone? This one is also very big. Now this one on the back says JJ, copyright 1986. That's a very 80s brooch. Big and excessive. This little dragonfly one is just darling. Another little flower one. It's a little smished in the middle, but. This one is missing rhinestones, I believe. Like almost all of the rhinestones have fallen out of this one. Yeah, there's three left, I think. And there should have been way more. Even the big rhinestones have fallen out. And again, I don't see any marking on the back. I got a nice mix of silver and gold. And then I got a few that weren't silver or gold. But it's another leaf. <laughs> this one is plastic. I don't think it's Bakelite. It doesn't feel heavy enough. But, oh no, it's not. Because look. It's Avon. That one is marked on the back. I got one tiny little rhinestone. It's so pretty for fall. This one is also Avon. I knew I'd gotten a couple of Avon. My grandmother loved Cardinals. This one says the Sarah Cove COV. I saw this one for sale on somebody's live sale um, just recently. It's a really heavy, beautiful piece. Here's a little homemade one. Little mitten. It's a little felt mitten. How sweet. This one's dirty. 
it says Castle Cliff on the back, which is the first time I've ever seen that. I got so many brooches here. Here's another Avon one. I love these spring colors. Can you see those? This one doesn't say anything on the back, but the um, the pin is a little longer than most of these. So I think it's older. Butterfly. Here's another leaf. I'm telling you guys, really like my, my leaf brooches. another leaf. <laughs> Got a little wreath. Doesn't say anything on the back either. I don't know if my camera's focusing. This one Has pastorelli, pastelli, pastelli etched into it. I'm gonna drop it. That's a nice heavy one too. I'm sure that you cannot see the back where it's etched, but it's etched in the very center there. And surprise, surprise, another leaf. <laughs> Honestly, I did not realize I got so many leaf brooches. <laughs> this little one, let me show you the back first. It's got, doesn't have a sa safety clasp. So it might be older, but look how cool that is. This one says Chris, Christopher Rack. I can't see that, but it's a really nice heavy piece too. Christmas one. Oh, and the little, it was turned backwards. The little, it dangles off the Santa hat. I got two of these. Where'd the other one go? Hmm. It's in here somewhere, but I got two. These little ones. My grandmother loved poinsettias too. This rose, this silver rose, silver tone. I love that one. A kitty one. This one's not old, but super cute. This one's definitely not old, but little insect one. The pink stone. This one has some age on it. It's got the longer pin. It's got the safety clasp. The little pearls. The Christmas little angel girl. Do you hear my cat talking? Look at this little one. It's a music note. Most of these have the safety clasp on them. Nothing on the back of that one. This one was cool. My cat's knocking things over because I have to show you this. You can change out the little charm on it. So right now it's got the leaf, big surprise, but you can change out the charm and put a butterfly, a flower, or a snowflake on it. It's an all season brooch. 
and they just pop up. Now, I don't know when you're wearing it how well it stays in because here's the, the back where you just pop it out and then change it out. But that was pretty cool. I'd never seen anything like that. It came in a little bag, so I didn't lose the pieces. At first I thought it was something broken in there, but when I looked at it, I realized how cool it was. Got that one. This sweet little one. The pin is longer on this one on the back, so I'm gonna say that one's older too. Another angel. One of these collections that I got was from a teacher who um, said that people, parents had just given her all the brooches over the years. So she had a large amount. A lot of them were Christmas brooches. Look at this one. Isn't that pretty with the roses? It's really pretty. Another little flower one. Got a little bunny for Easter. Oh, there were two of those flower ones. Well, that's cool. So two of the flower ones, two of the poinsettia ones. This one's a snowman. Snowmen are, are not one of my favorites, so. That one will get passed on to someone else. And then I have some tiny brooches. I don't know how you pin these tiny, tiny ones on. It's like a fragment of material you go through to get it, but it's actually got the pin on it. This one looks like it has some age on it also. Little dirty. And another tiny one. And then these last ones are button. Um, well, I don't know what you call those, where they have the, instead of a pin, a bar pin. It's got the little button. But how, how cute with the owls. How cute is that? And this one is super heavy. It says Gigi on the back. Is that, is that Avon? No. Well, I can't read it, but for being a little pin, button pin it it has got some weight to it. it says joy it's a Christmas one and these little angel ones and then three little pearl ones of different sizes that I'll have I know somebody's gonna watch this and go, she's so stupid. That's not what those are called. I don't know what they're called. And then a Macy's snowflake brooch, still in the box. It was originally $20. I think I paid 50 cents for it. Pick that one up. And then a Sarah Cuffin tree, still in the box earring and brooch set. And I paid $3 for those. Got some writing on it. I stuck the sticker right on it, but still in the box. These are clip-on earrings, I checked. So I don't know the age of that, but my mom, and it says made in the USA on the back, and it's got Newark, New York State, Sarah Coventry Incorporated. But my mom remembers sets like this from her childhood. So I think that one's pretty vintage. And then I, I got a broken um, pearl necklace that's just 
beautiful. So I don't know if I'll be able to, to fix it, but that came in that set that the guy where he was getting rid of his mom's jewelry. And along with that set was a pair of earrings that are from, I think, Spain. Yeah, Spain, except the other, the piece that's broken off the back of the clip broke off the back of this one and it was not included in all of the stuff he gave me, but those are gorgeous. So I'm gonna have to figure out a craft project with all of the broken jewelry. And then sadly, there was only one of these little plastic clip-on earrings. I would have worn those a lot. Very mod looking. So that is all of the jewelry that we picked up over the three day time period of the Lincoln Highway Byway um, yard sales that went from east to west over 400 miles across the state of Ohio. I did that with three of my nieces and that's all for this one. So remember, be kind. It doesn't cost you anything and it may mean everything to someone else.